So of all the blood cancers, unfortunately, multiple myeloma is the one that affects African Americans and Hispanics, unfortunately, the worst. So you say, well, what does that mean? Typically, in all the medical textbooks, you'll see that the average age of diagnosis for multiple myeloma is 69. Well, for Hispanics, unfortunately, it's age 62. For African Americans, it's age 64. You say, well, why does that matter? So that matters because when you go to the doctor complaining about certain symptoms, if they're looking for a 69, 70-year-old and you're in your early 60s, they say, oh, you couldn't have that. But unfortunately, before the minority community, unfortunately, it's one of those things that we get at a younger age. Also, what happens is, is that the, um, the, rate, the, rot, the rate of having that disease is unfortunately about twice as common in the African American community. So prior to people having the actual cancer multiple myeloma, people have a precancer known as MGUS. And so if you're more likely to have the precancer, unfortunately that also means you're more likely to have the cancer itself. And so unfortunately we're just leading to more and more of that cancer in that population.